Tens of thousands of displaced Palestinians have been forced to evacuate yet again in southern Gaza as Israel continues its genocidal massacres against unarmed civilians. For Gazans, it has become a living nightmare. This is the third time I have been displaced in a short period of time and the sixth time since the current round of the conflict began, as is the case for many people. We're being subjected to dreadfully wrong humiliation and suffering. We don't know where to go. There's no safe place in the whole of the Gaza Strip. Whoever dares to say there's a safe zone is a liar. The words echo across the besieged enclave as survivors of Saturday's attack are still reeling from its aftermath. Three large bombs hit a school sheltering the displaced at the crack of dawn, killing over 100 people. Israel said that the strike was based on mere intelligence indications of the presence of Palestinian fighters. Hamas refused these claims. The carnage prompted global condemnation, even from some of Israel's supporters. Witnesses say the scenes were too horrific to describe. Israeli warplanes continued to hit residential areas on Sunday, killing 10 Palestinians. Bombs hit Shigard 1, Nusayrat, Rafah and Gaza City. The injured are now in Al-Aqsa Hospital. Palestinians do not know when this ordeal will end. As Israel continues to bomb areas, it announces as safe zones. Now around 75,000 people are forced to move again. Some have gone to the Mawasi camp, a place with little to no infrastructure. But it's no surprise that they can be forced again. Salin Tutar, TRT World.